It's uh, flurrying a little bit of the S-N-O-W-I-N-G here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So pardon me if you see a couple little flakes fly through the screen. In Michigan, it just happens pretty much every year about this time. It's, it's, a, it's an amazingly reliable thing. But enough about that. We have in front of us here a 31B Octane by Jayco. Now this is the Big Brother Octane, not to be confused with the Super Light. Primary difference really only being, um, uh, other than size, the primary only difference is really laminated sidewalls versus um, constructed sidewalls, meaning wood frame skeleton. Um, neither is really superior to the other, it's just the consumer preference is this way because it looks cleaner. It does tow easier because there's less surface area and it does clean a lot easier. Uh, she comes in about 7,600 pounds and it is important to realize that the one here in this video may be different from the one that we have in stock. Uh, let's get dug in here. Power awning with uh, LED lighting. Very popular feature and what's nice is the LED lights are mounted at the base of the awning so you can uh, run them uh, even when the awning's not out. Probably not going to run it. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't mind the awning in the snow here. That actually would be quite nice. Um, as the sticker here indicates, everything from Jayco has double the warranty of pretty much anything else in its class. It's because they do things like not building with a lot of OSB and using more tongue and groove plywood and better materials and processes like vacuum lamination instead of pin trolling and all kinds of little stuff. It's not any one thing that dictates that. It's a bunch of little things that all come together to make that happen. Uh, this is one of those. Not only do I have bigger fifth wheel size Westlake radials on here, these are 16-inch um, wheels, not uh, 14 or 15s. Uh, we also have a fifth wheel Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. Each wheel is allowed up to three inches of independent wheel travel before you start to get, uh, you know, bucking and chucking. We have outfitted this with an enclosed underbelly under the living area. Keep in mind, this has a fueling station. You cannot have uh, in a closed underbelly where there is a fueling station, which typically means the garage area. It's just a federal fire code safety issue. Now, a rare thing in a travel trailer toy hauler is a big front through pass through storage compartment here. And uh, though it doesn't pass all the way through due to the fact that we have generator prep this one, uh, you see that you do still have a good storage compartment. You also notice, again, you're seeing real wood. You're not seeing particle board. Um, this is uh, solar ready for a little, uh, you know, trickle charge uh, battery charger. Um, it does have a propane grill quick connect on the other side. So if you like to do your grilling outside, you're all set. Once again, the unit in this video we have outfitted with um, generator prep. That's not a standard thing. Uh, it could just be storage. You can add a generator there. We like this. This doesn't cost much to do this, but you can't add this aftermarket. You, you have to spend thousands of dollars aftermarket to generator prep something. Whereas it's literally like tens or maybe a little over 100 from the factory level. Plus you can still use it as storage or throw a generator in it. We, we offer uh, a couple different varieties of generators here. Very familiar with those things. Give us a call. Um, you know, power tongue jack, 7,600 pounds means, you know, now we don't have to uh, worry about getting tennis elbow cranking it up and down. Um, just a little utility stuff like an outside shower and black tank flush. We, most of us know what those do. And if you don't, give us a call. I can, uh, you know, I don't need to belabor that issue too much. Again, fueling station back here. Uh, what's kind of cool here is we have separate fuel cells. We have one for the generator and one for the fuel dispensing station here. So uh, you, you don't have to worry about tapping one fuel cell when you're expecting it to be there. You see that the uh, ladder is permanently attached? That way you don't have to try to find a place to store it. It just kind of ellipses up into place. Um, very common on uh, toy haulers actually. Now this is a true toy hauler and by that I mean it is very tall and it is wide body. And no, there is nothing wrong with this gate. With the weather coming in the way it is, I just did a quick job on this gate. There's a second pin that holds it upright back here. I just simply haven't put it in place. I'm just trying to give you the visual and the idea so that you know what you're looking at. Because we have added the patio party deck, personal favorite of mine, because it's, it's secluded. When you are at your destination, it's back here. It's away from everybody. You can come back here with your friends and your family, enjoy a conversation or a sandwich without feeling like someone's walking by and looking at you. I don't know, maybe I'm weird like that. Now, a neat thing with Jayco, they use a different ramp door. Almost everybody in the industry uses the same door. And you can tell because it comes to a point. It's a right angle door. This is a radius edge door. Talk to anybody who knows anything about structure and they all tell you a radius corner is better than a dog-eared corner. That's why your old stone domes from Roman times are still standing, because they didn't use straight edge construction. The uh, ramp gate here has a serious no-slip uh, skin attachment, and that's one of the benefits of this different ramp door. Now, they have a seriously large 
indoor outdoor patio table right here that you can use it is extra big you can really really put some people around it and it folds up when you're in transit stows away under those mattresses let's talk about the mattresses we have added the double bunk option here this is two beds this floor plan is large enough instead of having sofas on the bottom they have dedicated sofas inside with a top and bottom power bunk they are individually removable if you are so inclined by the way but these are as this actually indicates over here Denver's Denver mattress bunks. They're 50% thicker than what you usually find. And notice how this is all finished under here. Again, you don't see raw exposed wood. You see things finished off nicely in a Jayco. Uh, you have these um, button-on blackout shades. They don't use pleated shades here because handlebars might rip those things off. So these things, when you do pull this up over the window, I mean black out. It will blot out the sun. Um, you know what? I'm just going to cheat and I'm going to... Oh, actually, no, I'm not going to cheat yet. Under this dovetail section here, this, this is an indoor-outdoor carpet. This is something that we like to add to our octanes. This is an option right here. But what this does is, once you're at your destination, it lets you use your octane like a just a normal RV. Now you just have a nice living room inside with a rear bunkhouse, if you think of it that way. So it, it makes it very multi-purpose. We also like to add a screen door on this. It's a roll-down screen wall and it latches down magnetically. You see that it's self-supporting and will roll itself up when you're not grabbing it. So you can have a screened in three seasons room in here. Very cool. Um, let's get inside, get out of the weather and maybe I can take some time to explain things a little more clearly. Crawling over the bed, don't worry. If you don't want me crawling on your bed, this one's probably not yours. <laughs> um, the uh, D-rings in here. You see they go all the way up to the refrigerator. There's a lot of them in here. They're hidden under that rug right now, but they're all 5,000 pound rated. They screw directly into the frame. I'm sure there might be another manufacturer doing that. I don't know of any though. Um, so as far as I know, they're the only ones that are directly screwing their uh, uh, D-rings all the way down to the frame. Now, because this thing is so tall, they were able to give you huge cabinets in here and you see that they're all shelved inside. So you have double the storage you think you do because you actually have two different platforms with which you can stack things. Uh, we will often upgrade to a larger air conditioner, uh, a 15,000 instead of a 13.5. It just really depends on uh, what we're going for in a given unit. Sometimes we have kind of an upscale in-house package we build, sometimes we don't. You see that there is a ladder that does come included, so it is easy to get to this upper bunk. You don't have to throw kids up here. Um, there's also extra little spot lighting. Not only do we have uh, one switch living lighting, which I love. I like how that's all on one switch there, and it actually continues all the way up to the bathroom, so you can kind of have like a welcome home light. But uh, you've also got individual little push button LED spotlights. Now you, we've got a pair of fold down jackknife sofas. They use a different mechanism at Jayco. It's more expensive. It's also more stable. The way most manufacturers build their sofas, if you look at them, they screw one leg somewhere to the bottom of the, the, the bench. There's actually no specific place. They just trust the guy in line to get it pretty much in the middle. Well, when you do this, you don't have to worry about that. What I like about this is if a big guy like me who's over 205 pounds and ate way too much Chinese food for lunch today and a Snickers bar after that and a Mountain Dew that I didn't also need. Um, if I'm feeling extra fat like I am right now, I can sit on the edge of that. I got a leg there. I'm not going to bust the darn thing. Um, okay. All private uh, utility center up here mounted up really high so the kids can't get to it and break stuff. <laughs> like your generator and your water heater, which is gas and electric, 18 gallons per hour, by the way. Again, big tall cabinets continue through the kitchen. This over here is your entertainment system. It's your DVD player. Um, it's Bluetooth enabled. It does everything. It, it, it just does pretty much everything. Um, you know what? I'm going to... I don't believe that is DVD enabled. Pardon me at this point. I might be wrong. I need to check on that. So for now, please don't quote me on that because I may be mistaken. We also do have phone charging station up here. And they leave this little pocket right there so you can keep devices charged. Um, the uh, window here in the kitchen is extra large. That really surprised me. Now, you don't see an overhead microwave in here because that's a good way. With these extra tall cabinets, it'd be too tall for a microwave. So they mount the microwave down here where you'd expect an oven. And they also make it a connection so it can cook super fast. We do have spaces for your forks and spoons and knives and everything in here. We also have a standard 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer with that stainless insert to break up the uh, uh, tones. I like the light dark contrast. Personally, I like it. It's all subjective, though. But uh, 
if you're lucky, another manufacturer might let you pay extra money to upgrade to an 8 cubic foot fridge. This is a standard 8, so you don't have to pay extra to get more out of a Jayco. It's just extra is standard on a Jayco. All pleated shades, by the way. I wanted to point that out before I forgot. I'm going to save a little battery juice here. Click. Done. Moving back. Extra big window here in the hallway. So once again, you wake up in the morning, you want to peek outside to see what's going on. You've got a, uh, a pretty good vantage point right here without even putting on any pants. <laughs> um, the uh, bathroom here, once again, one switch lighting and extra tall because this is a toy hauler. We have an extremely tall ceiling. You're not going to hit your head in this shower. And we have a fifth wheel shower, guys. We don't have a travel trailer tub. Um, we have a big sink you can actually wash your hands in. We have room enough for two people to get dressed, <laughs> if that's your thing. If not, like, I'm a big clumsy guy. I, I don't have good balance. I just don't. And, you know, when I go to put on a pair of pants, I usually have to do that thing where, like, you're putting on your pants. You have to put your foot down real quick because you're about to fall. That's me. That's me every single day. And it's pretty comical, but it's it's tiresome when, when you're hitting your head on stuff because you have terrible balance, you know. Big linen cabinet here in the bathroom as well. And uh, even though that is a really high storage space up there, that's good for, like, extra shampoos and stuff, guys. That's good for the stuff you're not going to use every day. I'll take awkward storage over zero storage every single day of the week, and I'm just glad it's here. And, again, you are not hurting for a leg room in here. We do have a sliding pocket door for Mom and Dad here in the bedroom. Now, this I thought was really neat. They have a bedroom ceiling light switch mounted right there on that cabinet. That was really cool to me because this is really tall. I still see fifth wheels that don't have light switches on the wall for very tall ceilings like this. So to see that in a travel trailer, I thought was really smart. And again, because it is extra tall, we've got huge wardrobe cabinets. Both sides of the bed do have outlets, so you've got your CPAP station going on right there. And we've got nicer Denver mattress pillow top beds in here that you can easily walk around. You don't have to do the sideways travel trailer shuffle. You just... You're looking at better stuff and more of it. That's really the long and the short of it here in an Octane. Now, we've dressed this one up pretty well, but this is pretty much how we will uh, equip an Octane versus a Super Light most days. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.